What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Um, so we kind of got ahead of ourselves and did like a head start here uh, on the... And when I say ahead of ourselves, it's me and the homie right there. No hi, but get this gun this. Sorry, he's camera shy. Um, so what we're doing today is we're building LED door handles for Coyote. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while and I was looking at the prices online on how I'm like, so like picks them up. We're like a thousand dollars, thousand dollars, 900 bucks. And honestly, so far in parts, I'm like a hundred bucks into it. So I figured, you know what, what the hell, we're just going to go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, yeah, let me show you guys what I picked up, where I got it from and we'll go from there. So check it out. Here we are at the tire shop in Fort Collins. Uh, these are the LED lights I went with profile performance pivot accents. These are six inch, six inch LED strips right here. And they come with like the wire and let me see if I can open this with one hand. Uh, and here's the other wiring. And these are switchbacks. So hopefully when I turn on the, if I can wire them up right and everything, when I turn on the turn signal, it'll, it'll switch to amber, but they're white most of the time. And then here's the door handle. I picked these up off car parts, I believe. So here they are. They come apart. It just literally has two pins right there and right there, which on the door handle goes through there and there. You take it off and then thankfully, oh shit, I almost broke that. And then thankfully on these door handles, you can take off the top part. So you're not cutting with all that. You take off the top part and you kind of just measure the light out. What I did was I put it on a sheet of paper let me see if I still have it over here. Damn, I think I lost it. Um, but it's easy. Oh, no, right here. So right here, I literally just traced the light out on a sheet of paper and then traced it out right here. And then used a little Dremel tool just to cut it out. If you can see, I went a little bit. Oh, damn. I cut the actual handle a little bit shorter than what the light actually is, like the length of the light just so that like once I put the light in there, I can maybe like glue it right here on the sides, on the inside of the handle to help it stay, stay on. But dang, my hands look ugly. But yeah, so that's how far we've made it. Um, and then right now we're just using some little sandpaper just to sand it down, you know, clean up the edges. Um, and then let me show you guys a little Dremel setup. So I use this one to cut. This still has like little teeth at the end of it. I use this one to cut and then I use this one kind of like to shape it out on the edges and this one too. So, yeah. So I think we're making pretty good progress. Like I said, I picked up the camera super late because I got excited. These lights came in today. So I got super excited to, to toss them on. So yeah, like I said, I saw, oh, and then like I said, these, you can either get it off their website or I ordered them off of Morimoto. Uh, which is the same brand of Coyote's headlights. So I figured, you know, they're a really good brand. And then right here, I was just looking up how to take apart this door handle. Um, but yeah, like I said, we got super excited to take these apart and get started on them. So yeah, uh, hopefully I can get it done. Hopefully I can actually do this and it comes out sick. Because like I said, I just really did not want to pay a thousand dollars for labor pretty much because parts, like I said, these aren't expensive and the door handles weren't too bad. So honestly, truthfully, I'm probably like $200 into it on parts and just a lot of labor, but we weren't too busy here at the shop. So I figured me and this guy can just go ahead and knock it out. Um, so yeah, look, let me set it up right here just so you can see kind of how it looks. So yeah, look, check it out. That's kind of how it'll sit inside. Uh, I think I'm gonna use epoxy to fill it in right there clear epoxy so that way it doesn't look like there's just a hole in the door handle and then obviously these are getting repainted and everything but yeah just so you guys can get an idea nobody has uploaded a video on how to do this it was making me mad so i was like you know what fuck it we're gonna go ahead and do it ourselves and if anybody else wants to do it yeah hopefully these turn out pretty cool all right guys catching you guys up on the project so we put the door handles or the led lights in and it's kind of dirty in there but we already glued them to the back and then I ran the wire this way because when you pull on the door handle, so pretend this is the door handle. I really don't want to put it out because I just put everything away. Um, so when you pull on it, or let me use this hand. When you pull on it, you do this 
this motion right here to yank on the door handle. Uh, so this side doesn't move. So here, let me try to flip it over real quick. So look. So when you grab it, when you're doing this, you do this right here. So I didn't want any exposed wires to be right here. So that's why I ran the wire through over here. But there it is. I'll send it down because, like I said, these are getting painted to color match the truck, obviously, because, I mean, it'd be stupid to do all this and not color match them. And then we glued them to the back with this stuff. My uncle had this laying around, so I'm guessing he picked it up at, like, Home Depot or something. So... It seems pretty strong. It's super strong. It turns like into like a rubbery kind of feel, but that light isn't going anywhere. And I also wanted to make sure it was sealed all around the edges. That way, when I put the epoxy over it, the epoxy doesn't like come through. But yeah, let me just, like I said, I just wanted to catch you guys up on what we're doing. I'll probably put a little bit more glue right there on the corner. But yeah, they did get a little bit dirty. Like I said, uh, the sanding process did get the rubber dirty. But honestly, it's whatever. I'm not tripping. So that's from the inside. So it's fine. I'll probably just blow it off and call it a day. Um, but yeah. So we're going to continue sanding down here a bit. And then probably next day would be to pour that epoxy over it. And then I probably won't paint them until tomorrow. Cool. So this is the epoxy that Sir Rick is letting us use, I guess. Because he does a lot of epoxy projects. And we're mixing it. The epoxy with the hardener. That way we can put it over the door handles. So yeah, we're just recommending go side by side. That way you don't get any bubbles in it. Again, this is my first time ever doing this, so I do not you know. You gotta do it until it turns clear. Until it, it, turns it gets clear. cloudy. So that right there is like the, like a hazy kind of thing. Yeah. So until it turns clear, okay. This is Sorry, Rick, that we're taking up your time. No, you're not taking up my time. I'm just angry. Hey, at least we helped you with something. We helped you realize that you're the thing. Yeah. Right? Otherwise, I'd have realized it this morning or tomorrow morning. So it's self leveling. Well, so it like fills in its own gaps? It will fill in and, and be smooth. I'm like so nervous. I have no clue why. Ah, fuck me. The focus is real. All right, you guys. So as you guys just saw, we poured the epoxy over it. Got a little bit on the edge there, but that's all right. It's going to be sanded. And it looks a little bit hazy right now, but it's flush. And hopefully when it's done, it looks something like that glossy finish. So 
Yeah, we're gonna leave them in here overnight just because Rick leaves the heater on, and in my shop I don't. But yeah, look, just so you guys can get an idea of how they look. Hopefully, these turn out good tomorrow. We'll check back in tomorrow. Later, y'all. All right, what's up, y'all? I'm interrupting this video real quick uh, just to let y'all know. So I did record the finished product of like when we went to go pick everything up from paint, but I completely don't know where that footage went. So. I'm gonna skip straight to the, like once they were on the truck, cause I recorded us putting it on, wiring everything. I wired them up to the mirrors, since my mirrors have like the turn signal and the LED in it. So I figured I can just wire the door handles to the mirror directly and yeah, it worked out good. Uh, like I said, unfortunately all that footage got lost. I don't know where it's at. So yeah, I'm gonna have to skip straight to the, the finished product, which they turned out super good. Honestly, it's not, a super hard project is just super time consuming but if you got the time and you know a little i don't even know what was it, like 200 bucks 150 bucks for all the parts and then the time to do it honestly i think it's super worth it, it gives your truck a more unique look um and yeah you save yourself some money because yeah like new they're like for two door handles i got quoted like 900 dollars. so yeah and i figure i figure most of that is just labor but Honestly, I just figured I'd save myself the money, go ahead and knock them out. Honestly, I think they look the exact same. Um, if you want to be a little bit nitpicky, yeah, there's a couple little details here and there, but honestly, you can't even tell. Unless you're really like putting your nose up to the freaking door handle, but whoever does that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully you guys like how they turned out. Like I said, um, they were a little bit time consuming, but it was worth it. And then the Coyote went through like a whole change. I made that, I made all the update lists on the other video or like what we did to it on the other video. Um, so if you haven't seen that, definitely go check that one out. Uh, yeah, no, we haven't stopped or anything. The Can-Am just got a bunch of upgrades. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to record it either because the way work is, I've just stayed super busy, so I had to go drop it off. They knocked out everything, and then when I picked it up, uh, yeah, they were already closed. So it's not like I can get you guys like a rundown of what we did, but I'll try to do like a little overview. Uh, I know it was a, what was it? It was a CA, CA Technologies gusset kit for the front, the CA Technologies tower brace, the tower brace straps, e-box springs, uh, upgraded clutch kit, belt, everything. So that thing is running A1. And the diesel, we just got some tires in for the diesel as well. Um, this is probably gonna be on my next video. The diesel, the 6.0, uh, blew the intercooler because I guess from the factory, they just, uh, they're like metal and plastic. So the more boosts you push, those tend to like separate. So yeah, so we just went ahead and upgraded the intercooler as well. And I just got some new tires for it. So that'll be in a later video, but yeah, just want to hop in here and interrupt. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one.